Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lay Chanel. If you're new here, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you're not new here, welcome back, guys. Today we're doing something a little different. Recording live from New York, of course. So there's going to be a lot of background noise. Uh, it is the afternoon. So we're, please don't mind that. We're going to get into the soft life. Living the soft life. New iterated trend of the that girl trend. Or are we just so happy to live a soft life? I feel like as a black woman, it is not very easy for us to be soft. We have this iteration of being the strong black woman. And now if you do hashtag soft life, all of the content is basically all black women because we are realizing now that we are allowed to be soft. We are allowed to exude in our feminine aura and our feminine energy, which we weren't allowed to do in past. Still very tricky um, in today's times, but I feel like we are realizing how hard we have been and not being able to be in our feminine energy. The first um, tip is work smarter, not harder. And I feel like we are working so hard. We know that we have to put in hard work work nine to fives but that really isn't the reality of today's time i feel like that is a huge misconception because there's rich people that don't work hard and they have all the fruits of their labor so i feel like you could just work strategically i am not into the age of killing up myself anymore i am not about to um work a hard job i just feel like it takes away from my feminine energy i feel like men are supposed to be like the hard workers and women once we work very hard we're very stressed out certain times in our life where we shouldn't have to like fight for our rights and fight for hard work and i know we should be a boss and want to be like girl boss positions but i feel like as a feminine woman to exude in her soft energy and work smarter and not harder in a sense, if that makes sense. Second tip, I would say live in the moment because if we're being soft, we have to live in the moment and not think about our anxieties or our depressions in the moment and exude how you feel in them. I'm my best self when I'm actually living in the moment. And if we're stressed out all the time, I feel like that's not very soft life-ish. So all about like the soft life is just about not caring and just, it's another way of manifesting, I think, in a sense. I feel like it's another word of manifesting a life at ease because if once you start stressing out, that's when it intensifies. So if you start to think about your life, in an easy format then those eases will manifest into your life life should come up with ups and downs but i truly don't believe that life is meant to be hard and when people ask you how are you doing don't be like oh, i'm okay and no you exude and you tell them i feel good i feel good about myself um some days are hard but you have to constantly feed yourself that life is meant to be easy. Like I said in the first note, life, you don't you don't have to work hard. I feel like life is just an energy flow and it's the way I manifest things. I don't say things like I'm stressed out. I don't say things like I'm broke because then those words are casting spells over me. I have an ease of mind and a peace of mind and I ex it allows me to be more feminine instead of strong and hard. I would also say have an abundant mindset. Tip number three or four. I feel like another tip is rest. Take naps. You're allowed to take naps. I'm a nap queen. If I don't have my daily nap, I am not. <laughs> I'm not myself. <laughs> um, the, you know, the noise out here, but if i don't have a nap honestly i am grumpy if i don't listen to my body i'm just so tired so like heavy on the listen to yourself and listen to your body because if you don't you're gonna feel grumpy and you're not gonna want to feel soft you're gonna feel eager and like macho and you're gonna exude your masculine energy you're gonna feel it and exude your masculine energy if you're not well rested if you don't feel good about yourself fourth tip dress up for yourself 
dress up even if it's not every day if i go run errands now especially me being new to new york city i try to dress up because you don't know who you're going to meet you i feel like there's not a lot of bummy days here i have to if i'm even if i'm going to the grocery store i try to put on a good outfit even if i don't put on makeup that day i really try to put on a good outfit because you don't know the type of energy that you're attracting when you have bummy day i know as women we are a lot we're a lot like it's a lot of pressure on us to have our hair done our nails done and always look presentable but I feel like forget about society's image it makes you feel good when i wake up in the morning and i decide to put on a little concealer and dress up a little bit it really boosts my mood even when i'm in the house i love when jackie anna said you have to wear you should wear like silks in the house it makes me feel so feminine and so womanly like okay like i'm in my bad bitch or like single anti-rich life like like rich anti life i love wearing my robes and my little silk pjs to bed and it just makes me feel sad like i was saying when i wear like nice cozy things in the house and still look good for myself it honestly makes me feel so much better about myself um it really gets me out of like a dark depressed depressive phase um i know sometimes leaving the house looking so ugly and comfortable but on some days i do like to dress up and even if it's just wearing a nice two-piece zara matching set in the house that is my go-to i like I love that i constantly look at myself in the mirror i feel confident i feel sexy and yeah it's also another thing you have to be very confident in yourself if you're gonna live a soft life in another video but um yeah those are like my top tips i would say for the last tip be the main character in your movie this is your movie you're writing it just picture yourself in a rom-com all day that is me like i picture myself in manhattan and visualize that like i'm just the main character things happen to me randomly exude the main character energy that you know that things are going to work out for you the main character has uh, ups and she has downs but it also ends in peace in like a happy romance so exude that main character energy i just like to visualize like julia roberts and pretty woman or made in manhattan j-lo like i just try and just have that mindset that i'm that girl i'm that everybody's staring at me like things just work out for me and it just allows me to be so soft i take content photos i don't care who's watching i just do me and if that intimidates somebody then that might be an inner problem with them so i'm confident with myself and it's just the way that i move and i exude it allows me to be like a softer woman it's not to say we do this for men but i feel like being in my soft feminine energy has attracted more men to me I feel like men like soft women, um, not to say soft in the sense of my personality because I can still be that type of girl, but I feel like men like when you're at ease, I like when men lead. Allowing men to lead allows me to be more soft and more feminine. So I do like to be a little bit more soft. A lot of men do bring out that negative energy. <laughs> a lot of men do bring out your masculine energy but we're not going to talk about that i just feel like the right man should lead you and guide you and then you exude softness by doing your hair and looking cute and all the tips that i just gave you and then they will attract they'll be attracted to you i don't feel like guys like when you're on this rah rah aura like when you're submissive if that makes sense i think that's all my tips for living the soft life thank you guys for sitting down and having a chat tell me if you want to see more videos like this from me if you have any questions just let me know tell me if you guys like these videos please comment like and subscribe we are so close to hitting a thousand we are almost there guys so please thank you guys for watching please comment like and subscribe and bye